Well, hi there. Welcome to Bella's Vistas. Thanks for visiting. Please like and subscribe. Come on back again real soon. Well, now, this is how I set up our Olympus OM-1 for deep sky photography. Put it on a star tracker right here. We align the tracker with polar north, according to the app on the phone that shows you exactly where to put the north star. And then you can track the skies and do exposures. I did exposures all night long. I was using the dew heater on the lens here to keep the frost and dew off the lens. Batteries external to power the camera and to power the dew heater and one to keep charging the polar tracker. So I ran everything all night long. I still had 16% power left in the battery that's running the camera and the battery inside the camera was still fully charged. So I was able to work all night. I was using the interval timer in there and the tracking was just great. I hope you're going to really enjoy some of these photographs almost as much as I enjoyed making them. I'd like to send out a great thanks to Tim and Joe for all the help they gave me in learning how to do this. It's been kind of a whirlwind thing for me over the past two weeks. Never thought about astrophotography before and I really like it. Thanks. Wow, what a beautiful day for a drive. Now we want to go to a dark sky park and we have to drive a good four hours away from home to get there. I've had a lot of fun at this dark sky park, it's just great. Traffic on the 401, well, I'm not enjoying that very much. It's a nice clear day and there's not too much traffic here, but, you know, it gets bad when you start getting close to Toronto. Planes flying by overhead, everything like that, but it's just needs must. We want to get there, we've got to go, we've got to put through the traffic. And wow, accidents, too many accidents. I mean, it's terrible. It makes me so sad when I see this. They're doing the clean up here. We're finally getting past here, but this was like a two hour delay getting through this accident. I, I wouldn't want to be doing that job. I feel bad about it. And now we're gonna check out Amherst Island. We have to drive right past Amherst Island. There's not much of a chance we'll see any owls at this time of year, but you just never know. So we're gonna do a loop around the island anyway. It's really nice, it's getting dark. We're heading towards the Owl Woods. We're going to hike through the Owl Woods. That's where we are right now, and I'm listening for birds. Hear the wind turbines going, but that's all you hear. We didn't see a single owl or anything, really. But we, it was well worth it. I like going there. Here we are at Lennox and Addington Dark Sky Viewing Area. This was our destination. We found out about this place a few years ago. We've come back over and over again. I really like it here. Beautiful place to be. It's so nice and quiet. Look at the fall colors too. This fellow was like paddle boarding across here. I got some HDR photographs with the OM-1. Here I'm starting to get some stars. Now at this point in my life, I only knew about pointing the camera towards the North Star and shooting star trails. At this event, I learned so much, I couldn't believe it. There's my camera, that was my st star rig before, just the seven to 14 millimeter on a tripod. That's all I had. Then I find out about this. Wow, this is amazing, tracking the stars. This fella here, Tim, taught me so much about it. He showed me how to use a hand warmer in a sock wrapped around the lens to keep the dew off the lens. It was just wonderful to do that. I had no idea because I was taking pictures and I saw in the back of my camera everything had disappeared. It was all fogged out. There was nothing there. And so I put the sock on the camera and I started shooting. Now here I got a little bit too close to my 7 millimeter lens with my red headlight on. There's the area I was shooting, so I reshot it and I got, this is what I was hoping for. You can see Polaris dead center there. That's all I ever did was put Polaris in the center of the picture and shoot star trails. I thought that was what it's all about. When you point to the east, you get a pattern like this with the polar stars in the middle. I'm really loving this print. I really, really do love it. There you can just see the stars. Now we had the event, it was over, so we're 
headed off. We're going to check out another sky park the next day, which is uh, quite a drive still from where we were. We're going to the Torrance Barrens Sky Park and see how that works out for us. It's nice driving through the country. If you don't like the driving videos, just fast forward to the end, but it was such a nice drive. This video encompasses two weeks of my life, so we worked really hard on it. I really enjoyed every single minute of this trip. Look at the rock faces and the colored leaves. It's nice to be in Northern Ontario in the fall colors. I'm loving it. This is not far north Ontario, but it's a bit north of where I live and the colors are just beautiful here. Winding roads, really nice little drive. Now I think we're approaching the area. Yeah, this is where we want to be. Torrance Barrens Conservation Reserve. So we parked up here. Beautiful fall colors. I mean, wow, it was worth the drive just for the colors here. Look at the sky and everything. Shot some HDR with the Olympus OM-1. Beautiful skies. It's starting to get dark now. This is what I'm here for. Shooting for the stars. Seven millimeter lens pulls in a lot of space. Meteorite off from the right. Amazing. Saw so much, so many things. Just a beautiful trip. Shooting at like 1600, 3200 ISO. Here I am with my star trails again. <laughs> Master of star trail photography. I didn't know anything about deep sky photography at this point. Well, I'd heard a little bit about it, but I was gonna get much further into it. This star trail turned out pretty well, I think. And there's the stars and the galaxies above us. There's so much to learn. I mean, I can't believe it, all the things I'm finding out about exposures and setting things up. Another one of my star trails. This was early in the morning because over the night the clouds came in and put us out of business. But now we got nice, beautiful sky again. Beautiful colors here. I'm gonna get a lot of nice shots. Now we're driving home, but we get to drive through all this wonderful color. Like I said, it's a four hour drive up here more. We're driving in the van, so we're not getting any kind of gas mileage. It's quite an expensive trip for us, really. But wow, so much to see. And with the van, I mean, you pay for the gas, but you're not paying for a place to live. So here we came back home, tried to get some shots, but you just don't get the color here. So off we go. We're back to the sky park again. Look at the frost we got going on. It's going to be a cold night photographing the stars. That's one thing I know for sure. But I'm up for it. I'm all ready to go. It's with the 40 to 150 millimeter 2.8. Walking around, getting ready for the evening. I saw this woodpecker. It's just great to shoot a little video like this. Look at the guy. He's throwing chips everywhere. Fabulous. Like I said, if you don't like the nature photography or the driving of the leaves, just fast forward to the end where you'll see the star pictures. The bird tracking photography worked just fine with the Olympus on this. The focusing, I think, was just great. It's getting dark, though, so the ISO is going up, and you see a bit of noise in these pictures. But, I mean, you wouldn't have been able to take pictures like this at all a few years back. I'm really happy with this camera. I have a lot of fun with it. Now we're getting the golden hour, it's starting to get dark. Now you can see the stars coming out. Now on the way here I picked up a used uh, sky tracker, a polar sky tracker, and uh, I bought some other pieces and set it up. We've got some patterns happening here in the stars, in interference patterns and things like that, but I thought they were sort of interesting. Here you can see the stars. I'm by myself at this point, so I've just set up my sky tracker and I've got things balanced out. Now I shot uh, time lapse with the Olympus. I would shoot at 3200 ISO and shoot all kinds of pictures. And then the camera would make these little video clips. 
and I shot some of the star trails again. I still like star trail photos. But this video here of the stars moving along the camera puts that together. Now here we've got a shot of Orion. Interesting shots. I'm pretty taken on this. These are just like video clips that the camera made out of the still shots that I made. Here you go, this is a deep sky shot. We used deep sky stacker to make these stacked images and then we edited them in Photoshop. This is the one that Mary did, the previous one my friend Tim did. It's really tricky to learn how to use all the software because it's totally, it's altogether different from anything I've done in the past. Well, the evening's over. It's frosty. It's time to get warmed up a little bit, take a nap, have something to eat, and head for home again. Here I am making a little barbecue before we hit the road. There's our van, that was our uh, home base for this weekend of star photography. Bella's helping me cook some pork sausages there. Here's my printer, my Epson 9880 is punching out the print. I love watching prints come out of this machine. I'm printing this on Epson Metallic Glossy. It really pulls out the colors. I'm so happy with this picture. Wow, I really like it. Thanks for visiting Bella's Vistas. Please like, subscribe. Come on back again real soon.